My name is Todd Marcus. I'm a jazz musician, composer, and I play bass clarinet. I had a late start in jazz, actually. I, I grew up playing classical music, and it wasn't until I was about 19 that I uh, met a friend that had uh, turned me on to some jazz recordings, and from there, really got into it hard. There are not a lot of people using bass clarinet in jazz. It's a, a pretty uncommon instrument. It's a quiet instrument, more of an orchestral horn, really. And what I've worked to be able to do is to play it at faster tempos with more power, but not to lose the, the quieter aspects and unique properties of the horn. And it's not something you see being done a lot, so I feel like I've really been able to chart some new ground. I love presenting my music with my different size ensembles, my quartet, my trio, my duo, and I love presenting my original compositions as well as fresh arrangements of jazz standards. It's also meant a lot to me to present people that have been trailblazers on the instrument as well, people like Don Byron and Benny Maupin. But the other thing that I really love to present is my nine-piece group, my Todd Marcus Jazz Orchestra, which is six horns, piano, bass, and drums, and really is a great uh, opportunity for me to feature my compositions and arrangements. And you'll spread your wings and take I'd say that as a composer, I come out of a straight-ahead jazz foundation, and I really love rich harmony, multiple melodies, uh, grooves. I'm a self-taught composer and arranger and uh, I try to really incorporate what I hear. For me as someone who's half Egyptian, that's more and more had an impact on how I approach my music. I'm really exploring Middle Eastern music as a way of reaching into my heritage, and certainly with everything that's taking place in Egypt over the last several years, it's been a way to incorporate the things that are current events and to, to tie it into my life and my work. And uh, it's presented some challenges because Middle Eastern music and jazz are really constructed very differently. So it's been a lot of work to try to fuse these two together. I believe that music has the power to heal, to uplift the human spirit, and that's ultimately what I'm aiming for. I think that it's a chance to transcend all the terrible things that human beings do to each other and to experience something beautiful together. And, uh, and that's what I'm going for, to bring people together across different barriers and to experience something special and beautiful.